Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to the Kellogg's Lips YouTube channel. So, for today's video, I'll be taking you guys on a little tour of my studio and workspace. I've actually been planning on doing up this workspace area for some time now. I spent basically 99% of my time here in this room. It's not only my workspace area, it's actually my room as well. <laughs> for this studio tour, I'm going to be needing the help of this little guy. So, I'll see you guys on the other side. Boom! Alright, we're on the other side now, so let's continue with our studio tour. So, this is an overview of my room from one of the corners, and basically what it looks like. Starting off, that's my bed. And all of my friends make fun of my bed because I sleep on the floor. I don't know, I like sleeping on the floor because you can kind of just chill out whenever I'm tired of painting and need a break and then just fall onto the bed and just relax for a bit. This is my temple pretty much. One of my pet peeves is when people put their dirty feet on my bed, like... And my biggest peeve is when people bring shoes into the bed. That kills me! Oh god! And in this corner over here, I've got a guitar. It's an acoustic electric Fender guitar. I've got two of these canvas paintings from way back ages ago when I used to do a lot more digital art. This is one of my favourites. It's Aurore. And this is Hold On To Innocence. So these are just digital prints on canvas. I remember when I first got these in, it was so cool seeing, you know, my digital art printed on canvas. And beside my bed, I've got this bookshelf bedside table. So I've got my little diary. Got my laptop as well, which is really, really old. This guy has been through thick and thin with me through high school. I think he needs an update soon. It's kind of sad. And under that, I've just got my yearly calendar, which I'm still organizing and putting together. And I've got this little plant from Ikea because I wanted to make my room look a little bit more artsy, a little bit more decorative and less boring. So there's a fake pot plant. In the bookshelf, I've actually been collecting digital art books, I'm trying to build up my own little collection. I've got a lot of the Disney Pixar art books like Moana, Wreck It Ralph, Finding Nemo, some of my favorite films. I've got the Art of Lowish sketchbook, which was her first Kickstarter campaign. Beside that, I've got my little camera battery charging station. And just above that, we've got my camera set up. I've got my Canon 700D. It's, it was a birthday present from my 21st, which was awesome because I was just starting to do my YouTube stuff more seriously then. It's just mounted on a tripod that I got from my brother, um, borrowed from my brother. <laughs> Attached to this DSLR is a Rode VideoMic Pro. I bought this as a birthday present for myself. I bought it because the audio in my room isn't really good. As you can see, I've got pretty echoey walls and the sound isn't that nice. So this guy has been a really worthwhile investment. You guys are probably used to this view here, but this is what I'm used to. When I'm filming, I'm sitting here and this is my view. This is what I talk to. And at first I found it really, really daunting and really scary and hard to get used to. But um, in the past few years, I think I've gotten used to it and a lot more confident and less, I don't know, weird about it. So thanks guys. Beside my bed, I have this wall of Polaroids and photos of all my friends. I think there's over a hundred of them. I spent years <laughs> putting this together and I'm really happy with how it turned out. On top of that, this is my window and my beautiful view. It's so beautiful, wow. And this is the workspace. This is where I'm basically spending all my time, all my life and all my hours and all my nights. Over here we've got my Rode NT-USB microphone and I use this little guy to record all my voiceover videos. It was a birthday gift from Kylie who is a colleague of mine from the magazine. Uh, her and her husband got this for me for my birthday. So thank you Kylie, thank you Rob, you guys are legends. Then I've got my Wacom Cintiq Pro 13 inch. I just got it recently. I'm thinking about even filming some videos because it's a screen. So it'd be kind of cool to, you know, film just like me drawing like this. And this is my baby. This is my four years of hard work. I worked in retail for four years because I needed to buy my own desktop computer to do my editing, my filming stuff, my digital painting, you know, all of my work. For the first few years of my, you know, art journey, I was using this MacBook. It was good. It worked for me at the time, but it just started to get too slow. You couldn't handle editing, couldn't handle digital painting anymore. So I needed to upgrade and I'm, I'm happy to be reunited with my baby. I've always got my two hard drives plus in. One's an archive hard drive and another one is just my current, you know, like footage for the year. And beside that we've got my YouTube play button. Ah! This is probably one of the coolest things I own and um, hey, you can see my reflection, it's pretty cool. And as you can see, these are like my spare brushes and pencils uh, and some little bits and pieces. Um, these aren't actual containers, they're actually just postage tubes that I cut in half. 
you know, little DIY budget <laughs> containers for my art supplies. And this is where all the magic happens. This is my actual workspace. It's where I create and draw and do all my stuff. So basically, beside my computer, I've just got a workspace where I can paint and just zone out, listen to music, chill and just draw. This isn't actually a wood table, it's actually just one big corner table and I put this wooden board on top of it. Just because when I'm filming, white paper doesn't look so good against this white table. So the wood backdrop looks nice on camera, so when I film my time lapses and stuff, it just looks a little, a little more neat. Nice touch. But yes, it's fake. So I've always got a sketchbook of some sort on this table, in case I'm, you know, feeling like creative. Out of nowhere, I want to draw something. This is my current watercolour sketchbook that I'm working on. It's a Strathmore sketchbook. I've also got a moleskin, moleskin, whatever it is, sketches, just random bits and pieces. And I've got my watercolour palette set, my Winsor Newton one, always on my desk, ready to go in case I want to paint. Same with my cups for water, my tissues, and my little water spray bottle. So basically the setup is just that I have everything I need in one space so if I'm feeling you know kind of worn out from editing or doing emails I can just go over here chill out and just paint away and just tune out and it's also where I film my time lapses but my camera rig isn't set up right now because I'm using the tripod basically I usually get my tripod set up over here and it looks something like this it's a tripod with a L bracket thing mounted on top and the camera just sits uh, in this one of these holes here films the overhead angle like this and boom DIY overhead setup Continuing on one of my favorite buys has been this lamp from IKEA the best part about it is that it's you know movable It's adjustable different angles. It's just a really good thing for me to have whenever I'm feeling like painting at night or filming This is basically what my desk looks like at night all the time. It's where I work. It's my little a little zone Beside my workspace, I've got another little shelf. It's just some etc. bits, spare camera bits like a film camera, my gorilla pod, which is super handy for filming some angled shots, a spare lens, camera batteries. I've also got my Polaroid camera over there and a lot of film. A bunch of art magazines in there as well, including the My Magazine, Beautiful Bazaar, the one I designed for. These aren't actually shoes, they're just empty shoe boxes. One thing that I learned from my mum is how to be a hoarder and reuse and repurpose things. This is where I store my um, microphone. That one's where I store my Wacom tablet gear. And this is my old tablet. This is my old Wacom tablet. My Intuos Pro. This is basically the workspace. This is where I spend all of my time working, painting, doing everything and relaxing. This is my space. So that's my current room over there, and this is my old room. And it's my studio space that I'm working on making. And this is what the studio currently looks like. Over here, this is my old lamp that I used to use. It's just a bulb and it's very harsh light. So what I did was I built this makeshift diffuser. It's just some metal wire frame with some thin tracing paper. And I used to cover over the light with that and it would diffuse the light and make it softer. I do all my print shop and orders and stuff in this room here. So as you can see, I've got a bunch of shipping stuff. I've got this easel from Craigslist, I think. It was like 50 bucks. But the only thing is, I've never actually used it because I don't oil paint or use acrylics. So hopefully I pick up oil painting this year so I can finally use this easel that I've had for like three years. The only thing I've used this easel so far for is filming those angled shots and displaying this thing and basically that's it. Over on the wall, I've got a frame of an artwork from one of my favourite all-time artists, Agnes Cecile. She's basically the reason why I started watercolour painting. And just down there, I've got my printer. I don't really print stuff anyway, so it kind of just sits there, which is a bit sad. But one thing I do use is this bad boy. And this is the Epson V700. Why isn't it focusing? It's a photo scanner, and I use it to scan all of my artwork and images. But this was expensive, but it was a massive investment, and it's worthwhile for me. But one of the main features of this room is obviously the table. From the outset, you're like, whoa, Hugh, you have an awesome wooden table. It looks like it's professionally made. It's beautiful. But then... <laughs> this is the table that I decided to DIY make myself. I thought it was a great idea because I really, really wanted a big table so I can do all my work and just lay things out. But it sucks. It is wobbly as hell. Can't really draw on it because the whole table shakes and it feels like there's an earthquake. Just goes to show my handyman skills. <laughs> Not very good at all. 
<laughs> this table sucks. Moving on. Now, this is probably the main feature of this room. This is my materials cabinet. It's where I put all of my supplies from paper to paints, to brushes, to pens, to sketchbooks, everything, absolutely everything. And just up here, we've got my originals, my prints, and some of my paintings. In this section over here, we've got some spare equipment, camera straps, lenses, camera body, and all of my paper. As you can see, I have way too much paper. I've got watercolor paper, I've got sketchbooks that I'm still yet to use. And just below that, I've got my sketchbook box. So these are all of my sketchbooks that I've collected through the years. They go from, I think, way back to like 2006, 2005. Old sketchbooks and my current ones. And this side over here is probably my favorite part of the cabinet. It's where I store all of my painting supplies and whatnot. I won't go into too much detail because I am planning on making a supplies video anyway. But just a quick summary, in this compartment here, I store all of my brushes, my inks, my watercolor mediums, and some other supplies. Down here, I store all of my tapes, my excessive amounts of tapes some bits and pieces there, and my gold leaf material, so a gold leaf, gloves, adhesives, and in the compartment below is where I store all my paints. I've got my acrylics, my gouaches, my watercolors, my markers, um, some spare watercolor palettes, discs, cakes, and more palettes over there. In this last section down here, it's just where I store all of my shipping and print shop supplies. As you guys can see, I have loads of stuff and the sad thing is that I still haven't had a chance to use all of them. Most of these supplies are gifts, but everything else I buy is usually in excess because I have this bad habit to always buy things just because they're on sale. My thought process is that I need to plan ahead for the future just in case there's some kind of... I don't know, apocalypse where we run out of brushes or paint. The worst part is that these always go on sale around Christmas time and I'm usually working like crazy hours during Christmas for like retail. So my paychecks are pretty big that season. I'm like, whoa, I have so much money. Whoa, there's a sale. Oh my God, I gotta go crazy. Right now with all this, I probably have enough paint supplies to last me like five years. Yeah, that's basically my art supplies covered. But I'm hoping to do a supplies video soon and even just a video about me trying new things. So keep an eye out on the channel and we'll see some of that content soon. Also, just to give you guys a quick update on what's been happening, I am back home now. I just spent a semester abroad study in California in the US. It was honestly an incredible, amazing experience. I had so much fun. I got back a few weeks ago. My friends came all the way to the airport to surprise me. It was awesome, it was really funny. They they came with this giant sign that said Kill Zoops. I finally got to see my mum after six months of not seeing her at all. Uh, it was, I don't know, I was over the moon, I was so happy. Um, yeah, it's great to be home. I did end up recording a lot of footage of what it was like studying in art college and I'll be editing and posting those videos in the next few weeks or so. So apologies in advance for any confusion. I am back home in Australia. I'm just back posting. I'm really trying to focus a lot more on my YouTube this year. I've been trying to upload content regularly and it is tough, but I really want to keep it up. We'll see how it goes. So that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.